Okay guys, let's go out here. Rain or shine, we gotta make a video every day because you know what? I care about you guys and I want to make sure you are getting valuable gardening, edible landscaping knowledge every day of the week. So, it's raining, but we're gonna go out here. I'm gonna show you something that I think is one of the most powerful, impactful, incredible aspects of gardening the right way, the best way. And uh, it's gonna be fun. Plus I got my tea here, got a little little uh, welcome there, and we're gonna go have some fun. All right, here we go. Rain, rain, rain. So, here's the deal everybody. When I started on my journey of trying to discover how to garden, ooh, a little thunder. I realized that everybody had different opinions. It's like, oh, you do it this way, you do it this way, you do it this way. But I wanted to do it the best way, the natural way, the way that was going to last, that was gonna make uh, the soil improve over time rather than you know, degrade and get worse over time. So what I have arrived at is that the best way to garden is to garden with nature, with creation, to do it the way that it was designed to be and to do it in such a way that you put up a bunch of work up in the front end, but then over time it gets better and better. So this is what I arrived at. Wood chips, compost, and organic matter on the surface is the key to a successful garden. Now the name of this video is Sponge Gardens, okay? This is one of the awesomest things I think about wood chips and gardening this way. Wood chips, I've got a whole bunch right here. Got the pine all around the edges and the oak there. And then all of the planting beds, um, looks like we've got some weeds popping up. I'll tell you guys about those in a little bit uh, later on. But this is a no-dig, no-till garden that I installed this past fall and it's been decomposing the whole time um, since then. And the cool thing about this is that wood chip gardens, any type of garden that has a considerable amount of organic matter on top, whether that's wood chips or straw or hay or some kind of organic matter on top, they are going to retain moisture. Actually, the cool thing that happens is for, the, for a garden like this, if uh, let's say we're in a dry season, but then we get a little bit of slight mist in the morning, what happens is the wood chips actually draw that moisture in and absorb it and they keep it for later. Whereas if it, if we, let's say we get a downpour like today, I mean, we're getting a lot, we might even get an inch or two of rain. If we get a downpour, the wood chips prevent erosion and they allow that moisture to go down into the soil, sift back in and not become a, a swampy, muddy mess. You know, it's very clean. I can step on all this. See, I can step on the beds or on the wood chip walkways and I'm completely fine. So out here we have zero erosion potential. We have zero potential for the soil to get all muggy. You'd think that if wood chips and other organic matter is so good at absorbing moisture that, you know, it'd become all bogged down. But that's the opposite of what happens. If there's too much water, the wood chips or the material on top actually acts as a wick and it gets rid of the excess moisture. Whereas if it's in a dry drought situation, the organic matter on top actually retains the moisture. I don't, I don't quite fully understand, I'm still studying, but there's science behind it for sure how organic matter on top of soil is the way to go. This whole thing of, of plowing and tilling and having exposed soil, I mean, the soil grows food because it's almost like it wants to. I mean, weeds pop up, something's gonna grow from soil, usually. But doing it this way, more along the lines of creation, it just makes sense and it really, really works. Part of how this works is that wood, stems, you know, twigs, trunks of trees, they have cavities going and tunnels going, uh, channels going up and down the vascular system, the xylem and phloem. And those, as they decompose and break down, begin to be able to absorb and hold on to moisture um, more and more actually. So the older and the more seasoned the wood chip garden gets, the better it is actually at retaining moisture. So just wanted to share some of that cool aspects of how this material here, how this dead material 
can actually hold moisture for us or get rid of it if there's too much. So I encourage you, try to think about how you can be installing a garden this year or this fall in such a way that you're, you're building the soil and you're creating an environment that's similar to the forest and the fields where there's always something on top of the soil that is benefiting um, and it's retaining that moisture. I mean, I'm stepping on this and it's kind of it's kind of spongy. It feels nice, you know, and it's not dirty. I'm gonna walk inside and have zero mud on my boots. So, guys, this is the way to garden. This is the way to go. Mr. Paul Gauchi, he's one of my mentors. Mr. Charles Dowding and uh, Mr. Brian Aldrieu. All these men have shared the same things with me, and that's the that is that the way to garden is to do it the way of creation, the way of the creator, to do it in such a way that we are going with nature rather than against it. All right, guys, sounds good. I'm super wet, so I'm gonna go inside now and catch you guys next time, but thanks for staying tuned. This was pretty good tea. It's kind of watered down now, if you know what I mean. Whoa, little splash there. Yep, time to go to bed. I mean, inside, not bed. All right, guys, catch you later. Thanks for watching. The Garden Guy channel where we seek to learn how to transform spaces into edible and beautiful abundance. Catch you later. Let's cheers. Bye. Hey guys, so I forgot one thing I wanted to say. And that is that I really appreciate you guys sharing and um, posting on Facebook, whatever you've done to help the subscri subscriber count go up. We're trying to get it to 10K, and I'm just excited for that to happen. It's been a crazy journey of doing a video every day for, I'm uh, getting close to half a year now. So so thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart for all of your uh, efforts at sharing and helping me get there. Plus, I'm super pumped, super excited about whatever gift my dad gave me. I can't open it until we hit 10K, so. We will have the grand reveal eventually when that happens. But until then, I keep on waiting and waiting. And uh, I'm excited though. Excited to see it happen. Okay guys, I'm gonna head off now. So um, just wanted to mention that and show my appreciation because I really do appreciate you guys, all your support and kind comments. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Big time. Okay, I'm gonna go back inside where it's a little more cozy. It's rainy out here for sure. Thank you, thank you, thank you.